Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. Got a review for you. Right, I use lots of tools in the garage with the computers, with the playstations, with the whatevers, with take the pieces. I've had a few comments that some of the things I use are a bit dated, a bit rubbish, and I agree with you. That's the whole point of this channel is, is I don't need to go over the top to buy anything to get things fixed, to, you know, to, to maintain products and stuff. So, but in the mean, well, not with the so, but with the, in the meantime, you, you've got to upgrade certain things anyway. So I've bought this little beauty. It was a deal on Amazon. It's a Power Tools from Tact Life, a cordless screwdriver. Now, what I usually use is uh, this old screwdriver. I stuck a couple of magnets onto the end, and it kind of works with the socket and other bits. And, yeah, it kind of it does, but it doesn't sort of work. But it's about time I actually got a little bit better with everything. So I'm going to review this, unbox this for you, see if there's any good. Right, it says you come with a 30-piece, 25mm bit. Voltage is 3.6 volts. Speed is 200 RPM. The torque is 4.0 uh, newton meters. Battery capacity is 2,000 mHA, which... Might be good, might be absolutely rubbish, I don't know. But there's a the thing with this is that, it, obviously you can see on the picture here, it doesn't come with three different heads. It adjusts, so you can have it as a straight, you can have it angled, and you can have it a bit more of an angled. So we'll we'll test this. It looks like it's, I'm guessing this is kind of... Schenken Take Tools Co. Dot Dash Limited. Yeah, it's a, it's a Japanese, no, sorry, Chinese, from Guangdong, Dong, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry for mispronounced pronunciation there, but it's a Chinese one because it always comes in this sort of cardboard. I don't know if it's a if it's a recycled cardboard, I don't know if it's a but it's it's nice, but it's it's also different. It's kind of smooth, that glossy, glossy cardboard. But you know about the packaging, let's see what's inside this. Now shrink wrapped as it came from Amazon in the bin in the bin. So, one number SDH13DC. Now, there's a couple of things that I noticed on this when I bought it. One, the cardboard keeps falling to pieces. All right. So we open up, nice inside, nice black. Screwdriver is here. And your bits are all here. This. Okay, so what I noticed was as follows. Here is your... There's a lot of weight to there, actually. That's really quite heavy. Hmm. Start with... Like I said, this is the first... You've just seen me unbox it. So this is at your first angle. I'll have a guess you press that. Clicks into a... That sort of angle. Press it again. It's straight up. Okay. I'm hoping that's a rocker switch. And not a... Ah, oh, it is. Right, so it looks like you operate it. You press one way, and it'll do one. Other way is the other. I was hoping it would be like a rock forward and rock whoop, um, um, screw, but that's not not a bad thing, I suppose. Okay. So let's get down to... Okay. Second part on this one. You press and hold. It lights up. So you've got four LEDs there going around this centre section. And you put all these screwdriver bits, which is quite nice. Third as well, I'm noticing there's a um, there's a torch on here. Yeah, there you go. There's a little torch, so you can. Oh, okay, so you can just hold this as a torch, so you can whatever around and then light out a little bit. That's not too bad. So you can have the torch go in just to look around for stuff. So it's like it's, it's two in one there. Okay, so it's a torch and a screwdriver, a reversible screwdriver. But also, let's have a look at this. We've got torque settings on here as well. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and drill. So that'll be full torque. One. Okay. Maybe six, that's no torque. No. 
Okay. Doesn't seem to. Oh, I've left torch on. Doesn't seem too bad actually. This seems like it's a nice, well constructed. This top bit seems right, quite heavy, but I keep touching that. That's better. You can put it in the middle so you don't have to have the switching on. Right. The other thing I found out about this as well, which is quite good, it doesn't really need a charger. It runs off a USB micro cable, which is there. Comes with with the set. And it looks like it plugs into there. So it's well out of the way. The right way around, Ralph. There you go. So it's just it's USB charged instead of being a separate full big charge. You plug it into your PC, plug it into everybody's got a USB enabled charger lately anyway. I know I have. Got one of the chargers I use for the it's a variable volt charger from three to four three to twelve volts. So that plugs underneath there. Switch her on. Uh, let's see how this lights up. Oh. Uh -huh. There's a red light on there. Keeps flickering. Why does it keep flickering? Oh, because it's a crap socket. Okay. So it'll charge up. I'll assume that the red light will stay on or maybe go green when it's fully charged. I don't know. It doesn't seem to want to be in there very well. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's just a crap USB cable. I think I need to push it over every time I need to use it. Hmm, okay. But it's fully charged at the minute anyway, so let's well, we'll use it in the upcoming videos, I think, to see what's what. Label on the side shows you what I've just shown you, told you on the front. 4V, so it's a 4 volt. 300 min. Anyway, hmm. I don't fully understand most of this stuff anyway, but that's why I'm here. Yeah, it's quite good that. Looks like we have a warranty card. And then we also have the manual. Showing what, where and how in different languages. Okay, that's not bad. So let's get this out of the way. I don't need that. I can always do with a USB cable. Alright, let's go for the tact life. Oh, okay, that's quite interesting. You got a belt clip on there. So you can put this little carry case of bits, which that bit wasn't in properly. So that goes, that goes, no, that goes. Ah, that goes. Okay. So we have, looks like we're colour coded with these little rings as well. So the red ones might be the CR-V. Blue ones, a bigger size. Well, they're fitting there rather well. That feels quite nice, that. So we have some blues, we have some yellows, we have some blacks, some darker blues, indigo, and some oranges for the Philips. More pointed, well, yeah, there's two lots of Philips here. Flat blades for five, Allen keys for five. And hex keys for quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in blue, and then two tiny ones. Which I guess maybe. Uh, uh, maybe the security key, the security ones off of most consoles. Those one, to be honest, it might be a bit bigger. Maybe yeah, it's a standard gauge, standard sized toolkit. Let's get a couple of my old crappy ones. They fit fine. There's no different speed on this. So. There you go. Holding it back then, that's the torque. On number one setting. So take, I can just grip it to stop it going round. So that's not too bad at all. I don't recommend doing this. If you slip, you're going to cut yourself. But seeing as I've, I'm um, a professional 
dentist for um, honey badgers, then um, yes. Ow, that hurts. So don't do that at home. These actually don't seem too bad a bit, these, you know. Huh, yeah, okay. The magnetic bar is always a little bit iffy anyway, once you've used it after a few goes, but that's quite a good, good magnet on that. Hmm. I wouldn't be able to hold it on six. No. That's quite good having a torch on front. And then a separate torch on the end. I don't know, blind me. Okay. Well, we'll see how this works in the upcoming weeks, possibly months. And you'll see if it's any good or if it goes back. If it does go back, then fine, we'll, um, I'll mention it in an upcoming stream or, a, or another video anyway. So, yeah, okay, there you go. Looks quite good, potentially quite good, I think. So, hmm, okay. So, so far, I've got a one thumbs up from me, but I'll give it another thumbs up. Or maybe actually I'll comment below if it's actually really any good and worth you worth your buying it, so I've got a few projects to do this weekend anyway. So, I quite like that. Big th okay, one thumbs up, shall we say. <laughs> That's the Tank Light Cola Screwdriver SDH13DC. They're on Amazon, I think they're on for £20, which is quite cheap for a, for a cordless screwdriver with USB charging on it, so you haven't got a Obviously, you haven't got to keep the same charge. If, if the charger broke, then you haven't got to struggle trying to find something new to charge it with. So, yeah, yeah, there. Right, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope, you, I hope that helped you a little bit. Just shows you what's on, on here. And um, please check out some of my videos, and I'll catch you in a later video. Bye for now.